Okay, let's go there, Capcom on the hot fire. Okay, all flight controllers going around the horn, gonna go for undocking. Okay, retro, go. Fido, go. Guide, go. Control, go. Telcom, go. Jinsei, go. Econ, go. Surgeon, go. Capcom, we're go for undocking. Armstrong, Aldrin, and Collins arrived at the moon on Saturday, July 19th. When we did get close and we rolled out and saw it for the first time, it was, uh, it was a revelation. It was gigantic. It, uh, it filled our entire window. The next day, Sunday, July 20th, was landing day. In a lot of anticipation, we finally come to the day, the moment that this is about to commence. Landing on the moon was absolutely the most difficult piece of any Apollo mission, okay? Think about it as a controlled fall out of lunar orbit. The problem is, in this controlled fall out of orbit, you only have enough fuel for one try. Capcom, we're go for landing. Altitude 4200. Houston, you're go for landing, over. The trajectory had been wrong. We had, they were targeted into this inhospitable place. Then they had to fly over this area at a high forward velocity, then pitch up to slow down so that kill their forward velocity and then start down like a helicopter. So now we're critical fuel state. And that's why the 60 second call was given and then the 30 second call. Then I really got nervous was calling out 25 seconds of fuel left and then 20 seconds of fuel. Oh, jeez. Okay, engine stop. APA at a descent. Boat control, both auto, descent engine command override off. Engine arm off. 413 is in. We copy you down, Eagle. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twain. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. Uh, the landing to me was a great celebration. The nation was almost euphoric. Well, it, it proved that the United States could uh, accomplish tremendous goals if they worked together as a team. 